Hey guys, Tech Mentor with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the date on your iPhone. Now, if the date is incorrect or isn't set correctly, you can change it yourself. But with any iOS devices, the date should be correct based on wherever you are, if you're connected to the internet and if your location service is on. But in a case that the date that shows up on the calendar is incorrect, you can change it yourself. Now, in order to do that, first thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iPhone. From there on, you want to go to General. And then once from there on, there's an option for date and time. If I click on it right now, it should automatically set it. That's why that toggle is on. But if it's not set correctly, we can turn that off. And from there on, we can change two things here or three things. Here. You can change the time zone, which is probably the best way to change it. Just change it to your location that you're in or nearest uh, time zone, right? Now, if you can't find that one and you need to manually change the date, you can click on that. And then it gives you the calendar here. So if you wanted to change it, let's say change it like this. And then I will be able to just go back and check on the date. As you can see here, the date has changed now. But keep in mind, though, if you do change the date and it's uh, not the correct date, certain things will not work correctly. So make sure you know for sure if you're changing that date, it's the right date. I would recommend using it automatically, having your phone turn on the location services, right? Like in the main settings here, if you go to privacy and security with this location services turned on and connected to the Wi-Fi or cellular data, it should automatically fix it for you by turning on that option by going into settings general again, same exact spot, set it manually, right? And I'll set it back to the right one again, but you can also manually change it the way I showed you. So I hope this video was helpful. So please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks like this one for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.